This is your LMAX Exchange technical update for Thursday, October 20th, 2016. Euro dollar. So the euro continues with its descent with the market approaching that critical support in the form of that low that we saw going back to the 24th of, of June at 109.10. A break below that level would open a fresh drop exposing the 105 area further down. At this point, it would take a move back above the 112 area to take the immediate pressure off the downside. Sterling dollar. So cable is in the process of seeing a bit of a recovery out from recent lows. The overall, the pressure remains overwhelming, overwhelmingly on the downside. It would take a break back above some previous support that was seen all the way back in July, which comes in around 127.90 to take the immediate pressure off the downside. Otherwise, the trend remains firmly focused on the downside, and there is risk for a drop to fresh 31-year lows below the 120 area. Dollar yen. So dollar yen remains confined to a well-defined downtrend. The market could be in the process of putting in a fresh lower top now in place at uh, the 104.63, 104.64 area ahead of the next downside extension. A break back below the low that we had seen back on the 10th of October, which comes in around 102.80, would be required to strengthen this outlook and accelerate declines. Euro Swiss. Euro Swiss continues to trade within a very well defined range trade. The market has been well capped on rallies towards 110 and very well supported on dips towards 108. Aussie dollar. So Aussie has seen some bids in recent trade with the market pushing back up above 77, but overall the market remains very well capped towards and above 77, and the market should once again ex expect it to stall out here in favor of fresh downside and a retest of those recent lows that we saw going back to the 13th of, eight of, of September around 74.40. Kiwi dollar. So Kiwi is showing signs of topping out off 2016 highs, with the market potentially now looking for a lower top somewhere ahead of 73.50 in favor of the next downside extension back below recent lows, which come in around 70.33 and towards the 70 barrier. Uh, below there would expose a retest of the low going back to the 21st of July, which comes in around 69.50. SPX 500. So the S&P 500 continues to show signs of potentially topping out, but the market has been unable to take out key support, which comes in around 2108. A break below this level would be required to officially put the pressure on the downside and expose a deeper drop towards a retest of the June lows around 1990. Gold. So gold looks like it could be in the process of bit rounding, a, a carving out a bottom here after seeing some sharp declines over the past couple of weeks. It would take, however, a close back above some resistance, which currently comes in right around the 1278 area, 1277, 1278 area to strengthen this outlook and accelerate gains.